every four seconds, someone around the world will develop dementia. 38 million people are affected worldwide, a number that will rise to 115 million by 2050. Dementia knows no social, economic, ethnic or geographical boundaries. Although each person will experience dementia in their own way, a common thread will be the stigma they are likely to experience. At a time when people are most in need of love and support, a wall of stigma closes in around them. People with dementia are excluded and also that people don't know how to interact with persons with dementia, that people are afraid of persons with dementia and that they are very much afraid of the disease itself and so they try to avoid them. Dementia can strike anyone over the age of 45. Bep was first diagnosed in 2007. Het is ook een eenzame ziekte vind ik. Zowel voor mij als ik dat mag zeggen als voor mijn man dus ook. Want ja, ik, ik voel me daar ook wel eens. Ik vraag ook vaak aan mijn man van je moet zoveel inleven voor mij. Kun je dat nog wel opbrengen dus ook? Want ja, ik ga naar huis, maar hij gaat dus mee. En dan heeft mijn man het erg gezellig. En, en dan ben ik weer die spelbreekste. En, en daar moet ik nog mee dealen. En je hebt ook sommige mensen die gaan niet meer tegen haar praten, maar die gaan tegen mij praten. En dat is het slechtste wat je kan doen om iemand te gaan negeren. The new report Overcoming the Stigma of Dementia, released by Alzheimer's Disease International on the occasion of World Alzheimer's Day, explores the emotional, social and financial impact of stigma. It's based on a survey of over 2,500 people affected by dementia across 54 countries. Executive Director of ADI, Mark Wartman. The World Alzheimer's Reports are made to help us making uh, Alzheimer's disease and dementia a global health priority. They give uh, data on the, the cost and the numbers of people with the disease and other background information. Stigma is a very important topic because it's a barrier to find solutions for this disease area. Because many people don't understand the disease and try to not to talk about it. Nearly one in four respondents with dementia said they had concealed their diagnosis from family and friends for fear of being stigmatized. A similar number said they had stopped forming close relationships since the diagnosis. The survey also reveals that nearly 40% of people felt they had been avoided or treated differently because of their diagnosis. That they don't want to see her now. It should be the other way around, you know, they should come and see her more now. But they are and you know, keeping away because they don't want to see her in the state. Report co-author and specialist in dementia, Nicole Batch. The most important findings from the survey included the marginalization of the person with dementia, the social exclusion of the person with dementia and their care, feeling socially excluded, and really the person with dementia wanting to feel that they, um, that they're a human being still. And wanting people to focus on their abilities and not their disabilities. Some people treated me differently, or still do. They try to be overprotective. They think I'm a kind of child, and they try to tell me what to do, when to do. It's like a remote control. Social exclusion was another major theme, as nearly 40% of people with dementia reported not being included in everyday life. The biggest source of stigma that people identified was a loss of friends. That's both for the person with dementia and the carer. They experience either their friends pulling away or they stop calling, they stop inviting the person with dementia and the carer out to social opportunities. Es ist so, dass in unserer unmittelbaren Nachbarschaft eine große Hilfsbereitschaft herrscht. Es kommt aber doch ab und an vor, dass im Nachbarschafts- oder Bekanntenkreis man mit der Situation, die entsteht, nicht richtig umgehen kann und man doch eher zurückhaltend ist. Society can help to minimize stigma by accepting people with dementia in society give people the opportunity to take part in normal day-to-day -day activities. Talk to them, uh, just uh, approach them as you did before. 
and don't walk away from, from your friends if they are hit by this disease. Nearly two out of three respondents felt that there was little or no understanding of dementia in their countries. Chairman of Alzheimer's Disease International, Dr. Jacob Roy. Society and governments have to promote dementia-friendly communities worldwide. They need to invest in services and the system to improve the quality of life of people with dementia. We urge the world governments to consider, recognize dementia as a national health and social care priority. One of the good things that could happen is if, uh, if countries decide on awareness campaigns, public awareness campaigns, and governments can play a role into that to get a better understanding of the disease. And ideally, every country should have a national Alzheimer's plan.